when I was suffering with COVID back in March 2020, I was stood in the shower and, and part of my back was really, really in pain. I was suffering from really bad lower back pain. And I remember just sort of standing in the shower and just saying to the Lord, Lord, what is this pain? What is this pain? And I felt that he was saying, Anne, it's birth pain. It's birth pain. And I was like, oh, I'm sure that's in scripture. Anyway, I, I was looking it up and I turned to Matthew 24 and he talks about famines and earthquakes and, and actually that these would be the beginning of birth pains. This would be, you know, the world, the land, the nations crying out in pain and that these things were signals and signs of his return ultimately, of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords returning for a bride made ready. Oh, I look forward to that day whenever that may be. But he was highlighting this to me and, and, and as we began to really hit the, the pandemic and go through that moment, I just thought, wow, this, this is really hard. But it's also a really, really interesting moment for the gospel as the nation begins to struggle, as the nations begin to suffer. What a moment for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, and then I, I felt like the Lord was drawing my attention just in the last couple of weeks into the story with Moses and with Pharaoh and actually when Moses goes to Pharaoh and he says let my people go this is huge this is huge for Pharaoh like what do you mean release them from slavery what do you mean let them go they're my people I'm holding them here and Pharaoh's afraid he's afraid of letting them go he's afraid of Moses he's afraid of the Israelites that's why they start oppressing them and we watch in scripture again and again and again how Pharaoh hardened his heart. He hardened his heart to Moses. There's a moment where he begins to soften his heart and he repents for what's been happening to Moses. And he says, you know, may God forgive me. But then he hardens his heart again and he still won't let the Israelites go. And I felt like the Lord was just highlighting this to me and saying, and look at that. Look at what's happening there with Moses and with Pharaoh and look at the birth pains. And I was asking, Lord, what what is the correlation? What are you trying to say to me? And I felt like he was saying this and there's going to be increasing numbers of birth pains. You know, we've seen plenty already haven't we and now we currently are in the situation where in the England in the United Kingdom where the monarch has passed away our beloved monarch but just that the Lord was saying there will be these moments of pain in the nation there will be moments of great desperation and great need in the nation and you will see that what happens is when the need comes there will also be a moment with the people where hearts will soften where people where you as my people and and the people in the world their hearts will be open and they may repent and there may be a moment there for the gospel there will be gospel opportunity a moment to tell people that Jesus really is the only way the only truth and the only life worth living with him in relationship but then what will happen is a hardening of heart. And between birth pains and those of you who've given birth know that in labour, when you're in pain, you know, there's a pause between the labour pains, a moment where you sort of think, oh, it's all OK. I'm managing this. I'm coping with this. It's all OK again. And that's the place of hardening where it's like, I can do this. I can manage this. I don't need help. I don't need God. But there will be one, these moments where there's desperation and a softening of heart and to these moments of hardening again, as things seem to calm for a while before we face another birth pain. And I feel like God was saying, and take note of the moments where hearts are soft and open to talk about me, to talk about Jesus, to share the power of his love. Right now, this is a moment. This is a moment for us in the land. This is a moment where people are going, I need more than this. I've put my dependency on, on the nation. I've put my dependency in the government. I've put my dependency on the queen. I've put my dependency on, on food in the, in the kitchen and, and money in the wallet. And, and the Lord, you know, is saying, you know what? You can only depend upon me. And so I'm praying that we would grab this opportunity to share Jesus and I'm also praying for that softening of our hearts 
that we would not be hardening our hearts, that we wouldn't be holding on tight to people, that we wouldn't be holding on in slavery, that we wouldn't be sort of repenting a little bit and then hardening again, that we wouldn't be kind of thinking about going with the Lord's agenda and then going with the world's again, that we would be those that say, okay, Lord, I give you everything. I surrender everything. I want to be free from captivity and I want to go with the flow of your spirit in this hour. He's the only one who can rescue. He's the only one who can save. He's the only one that can lift us from the grave. Bless you.